Let's create an animation of a planet spinning about its axis and orbiting around a larger body like the Sun. First we'll create the planet from the top view and we'll place it right in the center. I will name this planet Earth and we'll leave the 000 as the center of our solar system. So I'm going to move the Earth out a ways. Next I want to rotate the Earth, keyframe the rotation of the Earth around its axis. So I'll enter a keyframe on frame 1, then I'll move down the timeline. It doesn't really matter which frame at this point. I'll rotate the Earth about the Y axis. And I'm going to go into the attribute editor and actually enter the rotation for 359 degrees, right before 360. And you can right click right on that field and set that keyframe to. So now if I check it, I do get a rotation. After this, go into the Windows menu and open the graph editor under the animation editor submenu. And the graph editor will be able to make changes to the keyframes that we just created. I'm going to find the exact rotation that was graphed. In this case, it's the rotate Y. First of all, I'm going to change the type of graph from a curved graph to a straight tangent by clicking the linear tangent button. And that will make so that there's no easing at the beginning and end. Secondly, I'm under the curves menu and post infinity, I'm going to select cycle. That means that this rotation of 359 degrees from frames 1 to 40 will be repeated as long as the scene lasts. With the graph editor, if I wanted to change when the rotation ends too, it's fairly simple. I can select that last keyframe. And I can just type in, if I wanted to move it out to frame 60, I'll move it out like that. So I can make it slower or faster that way. Now that we have the rotation around the axis, we'll deal with orbiting around what eventually will be the sun in the center. To do that, select Edit and Group. Essentially, this will create a group of just one item, but the group is apparent in the hierarchy. So I'm going to name this group Earth Orbit. Now open the Outliner. Click on the Special Panel Layout button on the side, or you can select the Outliner under Windows and Outliner. But you'll see the Earth orbit is the parent of the Earth. And I can select each one of them separately, and I can keyframe each one of them separately. And you'll notice the Earth orbit was automatically placed in the center for its pivot. So I will once again keyframe on frame 1. And then I will move the Earth once again to 359 degrees and set key. Once again, repeating the process after that of opening the animation editor, graph editor, finding the orbit rotation, making it a straight tangent, and then once again we can change that position to be wherever we want, and under curves, post infinity, and cycle. So now when we scrub our playback head, we have the Earth spinning around its axis and also orbiting around the Sun. Notice that the 359 degrees did not take. I will go back in the animation, the graph editor. I'll just pick that final point and change that value to 359. 
and then we should be rotating and orbiting correctly. <laughs>